DuPont, Purdue, W.L. Gore. They may be large employers now, but each began as the passionate project of some inspired entrepreneurs. People pushed forward by the powerful idea that they had something unique to offer the marketplace. Every day, new entrepreneurs step forward, launching themselves into the hard but critical work that comes from working for yourself. This week, I joined business and academic leaders, as well as my fellow governor and the chairman of the National Governors Association, Dave Heineman, for the Kauffman Foundation's third annual State of Entrepreneurship Address. It was clear from this collaborative discussion that some of the old debates and divides that mar economic policy discussions in other places just are not relevant at this point in history. In the fight to help employers, particularly small businesses, grow, we need to stay focused on how states can enable rather than inhibit growth. We need to remain committed to making government more responsible and making our public schools stronger and on creating a business environment that encourages growth and opportunity. As you know, Delaware's Economic Development Office is headed by Alan Levin, one of our state's great entrepreneurial success stories with his work to build Happy Harry's. What you might not know is that each semester, the Economic Development Office and others bring together dozens of existing and potential entrepreneurs to offer in intensive training and guidance through the Kauffman Foundation's Fast Track program. The curriculum offers important insight in areas critical to building a business. Now, I was lucky enough in my private sector career to be able to join a small company full of great people, people dedicated to each other with a shared singular focus on helping the business and one another succeed. And while we did grow that company into a nationwide wireless network, I'll always look back on those early days, on that chance to work together to put so many people directly to work as some of the most challenging, interesting, and rewarding experiences anybody could ever have. Our state is full, so, is full of so many active and budding entrepreneurs, whether as a government committed to creating a climate for success, or as individual consumers committed to supporting small businesses with how and what we buy. We need to support small businesses and their entrepreneurial spirit as we work together to keep Delaware moving forward.